Hi, my name is Ian, and today I'd like to tell you a wee bit about Brain Dump, my new book that's just out. Brain Dump is, it's a strange title, isn't it? It's a collection of my professional routines from the last 30 years. Uh, all the routines in the book, except one, I'll be honest, have been performed in front of uh, real audiences in real shows. That one was a routine that I worked up for a show in 2016, and it was cut due to time, but I put it in the book just for completeness. I'd like to tell you a wee bit about what's in the book. The material is split sort of 70-30, I would say, between stage, parlor, stand-up magic on one side and close-up on the other. There's obviously routines with cards, there's routines with coins. Turn your hands upside down, the coin falls up into this hand. <laughs> uh, ring and string, ring and rope. Hold the ring for me, sir. Don't let it come away from the rope, whatever. <laughs> All that kind of stuff. There's a section on memory work where I talk about basic memory techniques, uh, my memdex stack when talk about the different routines that are built into that. Uh, my routine three found cards is there. Eight or nine, eight or nine, eight or nine. Say eight. Eight. Say nine. Nine. You're looking at the nine of diamonds. That's correct. Thank you. <laughs> Also a deep dive into the Knights Tour, which you may have heard of. And from G2 to E1. And uh, the one routine that wasn't performed, which is the uh, sort of the after party of the Knights Tour, where I show how to memorize a 64-bit number uh, in under a minute, and then you can recall any digit on this, this grid, um, which is a lot easier than it sounds, I promise you. For the stage stuff, there's uh, my work on Dean's box. Uh, I will take the ends of the ropes and I will place them into the box, pulling them through the trap door at the top. Um, there's a presentation for a smash and stab routine, uh, which takes away all the bits I didn't like about that particular um, routine or, or effect or whatever you want to call it. Andrew, give me a number, Andrew. One, two, three or four. Two. Two. One. <laughs> Um, there's my razor blades routine that took me around the world for a few years. Yeah. Ooh. Um, and a bunch of other stuff for for the stage. <laughs> Fifty-one card. There is a card missing, Hannah. Very quickly, Hannah, yes or no answer. Did you see your card in the deck? <laughs> 51 cards in the deck, one card is missing. Christiana, could you please show everybody what is behind your left ear? <laughs> Just here. Can you see this? Do you know what this is, Christiana? This is a small white ball. Do you believe that I can make small white balls appear from nowhere? Yeah. Okay, yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's a magic show. I'm going to tell you a wee bit about the book. It's hardback this time. And uh, it's all in colour on uh, the best quality paper I could get for the print on demand. There are also a few essays in the book. Uh, there's a section called Hills Upon Which I Shall Die, which are unpopular opinions, but I give my reasonings behind that. I also talk about uh, how to deal with heckles, um, a, a deep dive into that, and also how to combat stage fright, which I excerpted from another book that's coming soon. And I did a section on top 10 tips for busking. So if you ever thought about starting street performing, there's uh, a mini course in there. The final section of the book is a rundown of 20 fringe shows that I've done over the years in the Edinburgh Fringe. I kind of limited to the fringe because those are the shows I tend to have records for. It was inspired by Ian Keeble's book, Magic Shows, where he listed the running orders of 50-odd shows that he's seen, which were in turn 
um, inspired by books from the early 20th century. Uh, so what I do is I talk about um, the, the shows, a little bit of backstory, talk about the routines, why they're there, some handling tips, uh, and even some song lyrics at the end. Um, I had a, a lot of fun putting that together, uh, and I hope you find it interesting.